Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today my client flew all the way from Wisconsin to come and get her hair colored and cared for by your girl as a birthday gift to herself. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, I got carried away y'all. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing today is a hair color on my client, but the reason why I wanted to film this video for you guys is because she has solid white hair and then she has some pepper right here in the back and she just basically said listen i know it's beautiful but i can't stand it so it's time to cover it up so what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a beautiful warm brown color on her but i wanted to kind of throw in a pro tip for you guys because she's white we run the risk of her hair taking up of course the undertone of whatever color we put so by color undertone i mean when your hair ends up turning green when you have that green cast on your hair you start noticing that 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 ashy color which in hair color green is ash starts to come out or even blue because some dark colors have a blue base some have a green base so to neutralize that green base that could potentially pop out from the hair color i added a little bit of red to my color so i am going to show you guys the entire color process so you guys can kind of get some good tips and tricks for those of you that are dealing with a situation just like hers and then you'll get to see us style her from beginning to end. So sit back and enjoy the show. So to start, we went ahead and cleaned up the nape of her neck. Um, that hair is not hair that we want to color. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up really, really quickly. Now, if you guys notice, her hair does look a little matted. Reason being is because she just took her wig off and her braids out. So we went ahead and used our Hydra Strength Leave-In Conditioning Spray because this also has some amazing detangling properties. And this allowed her allowed us to detangle her hair ahead of time. Now, I don't recommend applying color when your hair is severely tangled. You do definitely want to go ahead and detangle first. And because we are doing a permanent color, we do not shampoo her first. So we do want to make sure that we go ahead and dry detangle her. Now, spraying a little bit of the Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray is not going to hurt. This is actually going to help to start the conditioning process on her hair and also as a small level of protection, all while we are utilizing it for its detangling properties to help remove all of those kinks, comb out any of that hair that was supposed to shed anyway ahead of time, and then go ahead and start the color process. Now, because she is um, salt and pepper or more say salt, all white, we are going to actually be doing a little cocktail with her color to help remove any unwanted negative tones after the fact. So when we say unwanted negative tones, we basically mean when the hair starts to turn green or has that green cast to it because a lot of dark colors such as browns and blacks, they typically use the color ash as the base of the color. And because she is white, she's going to pick up that base first. And that is how a lot of you are seeing that green color in your hair after your hair color service. So now that we've completed the detangle, we're going to go ahead and apply the color. So you'll notice that the color does have a little bit of a red tint to it. The reason for this is because we added some red to the mixture of the color, about 10% red, to cancel out the chance of her having that green undertone when that color starts to fade or even at the end of the color. So that is a pro tip as to how to remove that green cast from your hair or hair color service if you are adding any form of browns or blacks or anything that has an ash base and you are salt and pepper. Now, after we finish the permanent color, we're gonna go ahead and because she's salt and pepper, that hair can sometimes be very resistant. So we're gonna add a little bit of demi-permanent to help deepen the color and also extend the life of her color. So in our How to Care for Gray Hair class that's coming up this Wednesday, August 31st, I am gonna talk a little bit about um, hair color when it comes on to gray hair. This is also a part of the class that I don't want you guys to miss because we will talk about unwanted tones and how to cancel out those tones for those of you that color your hair at home or you've been having an issue with those negative tones, those greens in your hair or even yellow in your hair. We'll talk about that in that class. So now that her color service is done, if you guys notice, she does have that deep, warm brown color rather than that very hot, warm brown color. So it's a little cooler than the color we started with. And that is exactly what we wanted 
Now she did have um, darker hair in the nape of her neck as we talked about in the introduction of the video. So that hair of course came out slightly darker than the hair that was white, which is perfectly fine you guys. This is going to give her a lot of contrast. It's gonna give her a lot of dimension in her color. And I didn't wanna go through and lighten that hair in the nape, it really was unnecessary. Furthermore, we are still trying to protect the integrity of her hair. And remember you guys, she actually was not wearing her hair. Um, she was just not a fan of the white hair. So we went ahead and we just gave her something that she was more comfortable with. And this is in turn going to give her a lot of the dimension that she's been asking for. So what I did just now is spray a little bit of our goddess polish on her hair. This is going to help with our press out portion of the process. She does have what I would consider medium to coarse textured hair. So you wanna just make sure that you are aiding the hair as you are silking it out. And when I say aiding the hair, that goddess polish is a heat protectant number one, but it also is helping us to seal the cuticle and give us a little more slip as we are silk pressing her. And then for the iron, I'm actually using our Elite Anniversary um, one inch titanium iron. This iron is the iron that I suggest you guys use at home if you're doing any of your silk out process. And if you guys can tell, I'm doing about half an inch sections and I'm able to still silk her out with one to two passes maximum. So that tells you that this is a good iron and it's definitely gonna last you a long time. Also with the um, Elite Anniversary iron, it does have an automatic shut off on it, which is another reason why I recommend this iron for you guys to use at home because if you leave it on after a couple minutes, it will shut itself off. Number one, to stop you guys from burning your house down and burning down your counters, but number two, to preserve the life of that iron. So once we've completed the silk out process, now is when I'm gonna go through and give her what we call a corrective haircut. She has been wearing wigs for quite some time, you guys. Her hair has been severely neglected, is in my opinion. Um, so this definite cut is going to be something that is going to, number one, set her up for success, but also give her um, a style that will be easily managed. Now, I didn't actually choose the length. The crazy part is her split ends were so extensive that it automatically gave her what we call a bob cut. So I didn't actually go with the intention of giving her a bob, but once we started to remove those split ends, it automatically just kind of went into the bob shape. And it worked out really, really well. Now for the front, when we mean the front, meaning like her side and right below the parietal ridge, that area already was short. So we're just gonna kind of utilize that to her advantage and just push it behind her ear and allow that area to grow out a little bit more before we start cutting into it. A lot of these terms that you guys are hearing me use are also terms that we will touch on in our How to Care for Gray Hair class this Wednesday. So if you haven't already signed up, please go to EliteHairCareUniversity.com and get signed up for that class. It is a Zoom class, so you'd be able to access the class from anywhere, and you'll be able to actually listen while you're at work as well, so you don't have to worry about somebody knowing what you're doing. Just put your ear pod in your ear and follow along in the class. All right, so once we finish the actual cut, um, now is when I'm gonna go through and just kind of even out the base um, I started from the crown area and worked my way down. So I'm just gonna use my clippers to give her a nice straight line um, because like I said, she automatically kind of was in the bob cut. So I'm not gonna work against that and I'm not gonna leave all of that unwanted hair, all that split hair, especially because she's trying to get her hair back in a healthy place. So this is definitely a great place for us to start. And I know a lot of you always wonder why I push the hair behind the ear. This allows us to keep the length in the front as much possible and also give her somewhat of a little bit of asymmetry to give her some type of style. Now I did spray her with a little bit of Sebastian Shaper, so that's the reason why her hair kind of looked a little stiff in that part of the clip. The Sebastian Shaper Plus is just gonna help me to mold the hair as I'm curling her. And I'm using our one inch black diamond ceramic iron for the styling phase. I'm not gonna use the titanium iron any longer for styling on her because we did just do a color service and the heat of that iron can also diminish the life of the color and it can also change the color. So that's another reason why I didn't go back in with the same iron. I wanna preserve her color, that's number one. And number two, it didn't really call for me to have so much direct heat anymore. I've already silked her out, so the ceramic was the best way to go. 
If you guys notice, I use different irons for different things. So that's also another reason why I highly recommend having one, a ceramic iron, and two, a titanium iron if you are natural, because you will use both at different times for different things. Now my sections are about an inch to um, three quarters of an inch, which that's actually good because I've already silked her out, you guys. So I don't really need a lot of direct heat at this point, And I want to preserve, of course, the life of her color. Um, you guys will hear me say the life of the color a lot because really that's what we are protecting, number one. Number two, we are also protecting her hair. And you don't want to put too much direct heat on colored hair, especially because she is white in color. And that hair is really resistant and it really wants to strip that color really quickly. So I'm trying to preserve it as best possible and also preserve the health of her hair or the integrity of her hair as well. Now, I hope you guys are actually liking this color. This color came out very, very nice. It matched really well with her skin tone. Her hair looks super healthy after we gave her that good trim. She got some good deep conditioning action today. And then I'm just using my wide tooth comb to comb through her hair. If you guys actually like this style, you like the turnout, please comment down below. Give her some big ups. She actually flew to me all the way from Wisconsin, you guys, just to get her hair done for her birthday. So you guys wish her a happy belated birthday. And I hope you guys actually enjoyed watching this style unfold and got some good tips on caring for your hair, especially if it's gray and colored. Now, you guys who are interested, you can get more tips by joining our class this coming Wednesday by going to EliteHairCareUniversity.com. And then going forward, her care products are going to be the Moist Repair um, and even the Empress Collection. And the reason why I said either or is because all of our shampoos are now sulfate free. So we definitely want to stay sulfate free with our hair color. It helps to protect the life of the color. And then I'm just using our edge brush just to kind of brush through her edges along with a little bit of Sebastian Shaper Plus. So the Moist Repair is going to be her go-to aftercare collection, and then she can alternate that with the um, Empress collection for her strengthening once out of the six weeks of her um, doing her wash day. Now, her wash day is still going to be every 10 to 14 days, which is very important. And then for her retouch of color, she actually won't have to do a permanent color. She can just do a demi-color to retouch that color, or once her white starts to grow out, that is when she'll do a retouch. All of the products you guys heard me mention today are available on our website at EliteHairCareUSA.com. And as I said, don't forget to go and check out our classes on EliteHairCareUniversity.com. See you guys in the next video.